Hey y'all, so Alien Romulus. All right, it was a ride. And I'm just gonna talk about maybe some of the things that I liked and very few of the things that I think could have been better. Um, so spoiler warning, just, you know, depending on where my mind goes, just you know there could be spoilers here. All right, so Romulus takes place in between Alien and Aliens. Cause you know, after Alien, Ripley's like loaded out in space for like 57 years. So this is like 20 years after that, but like 30 years before they find her. So um, it's not really important to this story. It's just, that's just where it falls like timeline wise. So anyway, um, what, okay. So what I, I do like that it uses a bit more about the, the grunts, the, the people, the, the small folk, <laughs> the regular everyday people trying to get off of these badly terraformed planets and haven't seen the sun like, you know, regular schmegular people trying to like, you know, better their lives and everything. And so, so, and then there's like the main girl whose name I don't remember. I'm just going to call her, you know, Ripley, Ellen Ripley 2.0 because that's kind of what she is. Like it did this, okay, this movie overall very much gave me like, uh, the Force Awakened vibes in that, you know, it was kind of the same story over again, but from a different perspective. You know, instead of it being like, especially like the doctors and those types of people or like soldiers, this is like the everyday minor worker. People are working the mines and things like that, essentially, it's for me. Um, so there were some like good callbacks to, to the other films. Like when you see like the alien gets really close to her, you know, she's like, hey. that, you get that um, throwback in there. And then, you know, the... Um, so, you know, more popping out of the chest happens again. So those were like, good callbacks. Um, the things that I like that were, I think, were probably original to the story was, you know, just the relationships between the characters because they already knew each other. You don't know exactly what all their backgrounds are and how they're connected, but you know that they grew up together on this, you know, crap planet. And you can see, like, their bond. So I really enjoyed that aspect. Um, oh, something that's definitely going to be a spoiler. Okay, so... The callback, but where the reason they're on this this ship is because the pro, what happened in Alien One after Ellen, you know, um, the Xenomorph out the whole thingy. Um, yeah, that was the first one. Um, it's floating in space, so they're trying to go find it so they can study it, and they find it. And then obviously the xenomorph eventually attacks all of them because they're studying in on it, and they find the the ship. And that's essentially how they come in contact and how they are connected to the ultimate timeline that is alien and is this xenomorph. Uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna talk about the things that I really kind of bothered me. I'm gonna do that in a part two. All right, because this is already three and a half minutes. Hey, also, welcome back to my part two. If you've made it back. Um, okay, so what I am enjoying, like I was saying, is how they've added more racial diversity and ethnicity because, you know, those are the times, right? Um, but the thing that kind of bothered me, and I think just as, you know, a black woman, and just the history of cinema, cinema and everything in our country, um, the, Andrew was a, was a black actor. And, like, when he, he needs, like, this, you know, out-of-date, old android who is, kind is, or, like if he was a human he would be possibly autistic or at least challenged in some way but he's very much under the control of you know the main white girl right and then he gets this upgrade which is to help them survive and all of a sudden he's like this asshole jerk and all logical and nobody likes him and they're like well there's that one character who doesn't like him because of his own experience with androids but that's like you know, that's the thing in, like, all the movies. There's always that one person who's like, yeah, Android, they killed my mom or something. But just, like, why does this black man character, he can only have, like, feelings when he's all, like, simple-minded. But as soon as he's, like, smart and intelligent, he's, like, the jerk. He's going to go kill everybody and be all logical and have some feelings. So I was just kind of put off by that. And... You know, I don't mean to, oh, to to do that, but that's just where my mind went, you know, as a black woman. And it was just like, okay. <laughs> um, another, like another moment that I, moments that I really didn't dig. Okay, so 
big spoiler here. So um, there's this one girl who is pregnant. And she's going, like, oh, I'm going to go be in stasis and have my baby on the other planet. I'm like, what, are you going to just be pregnant for nine years? But anyway, I digress on that. That was just dumb. But she takes, like, the um, the serum that was created from the xenomorph things. And then her baby turns into, like, a human hybrid xenomorph thing. And then, like, you see her give birth and it's disgusting. I'm like, like childbirth is already traumatic enough. Why would you do that? Like, it was... I was very upset. Like, I covered my eyes. I was very much like this, just waiting for it to end. I'm just like, why? Why Why? Why would you do that? And then there was just like, ugh, I hated that. I hated that. But overall, the movie overall, I do, I am digging it. And I like the way it's set up so that um, there could be, like, a new alien storyline to follow. Again, like I said, it gave me like Force Awakened vibes where there's like, there's going to be their own time that is, but this is going to be connected to the main storyline, but only because of how they, maybe only because of how they met the original Xenomorph. But I can see like this trying to be its own franchise following this new girl, you know, Ellen Ripley 2.0, whose name I can't remember. But, you know, overall, I think it's a good addition to the Alien like, franchise overall to like bridge things between those 57 years and so yeah I definitely think we're gonna get some more of these and um yeah i dug it i dug it like 75 percent dug it <laughs> all right so if you're gonna go see it comment let me know how you felt feel about it and if you're not you're like oh i'm done with alien understandable so peace out you don't have to be perfect to be amazing <laughs>